What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about Digital World Acquisition Corp. Okay, DWAC. This stock just did, you know, it went on another crazy run, uh, $9.90 on the day. It was up 20%. Uh, currently, after hours, down a little bit at 58.60. If you are a day trader, you're, you're a scalper and you're looking for uh, to day trade this tomorrow, you know, you kind of want to be careful. So what I do have pulled up here is the hourly time frame. Let me go, let me kind of zoom out here and let's look at the daily, the big macro picture here on the daily. Okay. So I want to bring up something to everyone's attention. Okay. Because I know everyone likes to get real, real excited when these stocks sort of do these, you know, these big squeezes, they have these big pumps in a day. Be careful buying at the top. Okay. If you are currently invested into this stock and anywhere between the 57 and $61 area, just be careful. And the reason why I'm going to say that here is if you can see this channel line here, this is the upper uh, linear regression uh, 50. This is going to act as a form of resistance. This is going to be a supply zone here. Obviously, we know we've got recent highs of around $66.54. So is that to say that this stock can't put in a day two, confirm today's price action on the top wick and then come up here and take out the 66? I'm not saying that it can completely do that. But what I'm saying is, is if you're chasing the stock, okay, if you're chasing the stock up here and I, you know it, and it's like, as much as I, I want to make these videos on these particular stocks, just due to the fact that I know that a, a ton of retail traders like to get involved in them. I hate making them due to the fact that so many people, you know, you're stuck in your own ego and you don't believe that, you know, these things can fall just as fast as, you know, they rise. So I want everyone to be able to make some money. Unfortunately, I did not take part of this. I, I, I was completely trading big tech today. I, I didn't even know that this thing was running and up 20% on a day. You know, I mean, if I, if I would have known that this thing was up 20% on a day, yeah, I, I would have thrown uh, thrown some money at this thing too. But what I, wanted, what I wanna show you guys here is this is the breakout here, right? So if I pull up the price here and we see the breakout on DWAC was at $53. Okay, so $53 was gonna be taking out all of this consolidation, right? From the last run up that we had here on the 8th of December, then we had a very aggressive pullback into the 20 day moving average. And then we kind of just traded sideways, right? We traded sideways, we're up a little bit, we're down a little bit, we're up a little bit, we're down a little bit. And, and that leads us to today, we have this humongous pump so if we kind of take a look at it getting over this 50-day moving average at around 53.82 and taking out these top wicks here of this consolidation at around 54.93 55 this is your entry to get long okay so if you are following these type of stocks and you are following these type of plays that's what you're looking for you're looking for a big run up then you're looking for a pullback and then you're looking for consolidation the longer the consolidation, the better, because normally when you get that breakout over consolidation, especially on a daily candle, it can be rather, rather explosive. With that being said, if we are looking to day trade this, what we need to do, okay, we got to draw, we have to draw a trend line here, $62. That's the top. We got to go over to the hourly time frame, and, I, and actually this is going to be invalid because we kind of closed here after hours. We made a little bit of a pump here to the 6480. So I'm gonna put another line here. I'm gonna go back to the daily chart and I'm gonna kind of see what that correlates with. So that 6480 is gonna kind of correlate with the highs from uh, December the 8th, as well as the highs from December the 9th. So what I'm actually going to do here, okay, if you are looking to play this on the breakout for a day two continuation, we need this to get over $66.35. If we get over $66.35, that's cleaning up all of the supply here on the linear regression channel, okay? That's entering into a new channel here for a new leg up. That's also taking out this price action here from the 8th of December. 66.35, that's our entry to get long. We ride this thing, we scalp it, we take our cash flow. We don't hold this thing thinking it's going to the moon. We get in, we get green, and we get out. If we're trading below 6635, I'm going to let it do it. I'm going to let the stock do its thing. If we're looking for a bounce play, okay? Cuz I'm big on bounces, especially these stocks that could potentially have a day 2 run. Right now, after hours, we came all the way up to that 6489, and now we've pulled back to the 5-day moving average on the 1-hour time frame. If we continue to pull back, it's fine. We're going to make a little bit of a flag pattern here. 
If we pull back into $56.27, let's just round it at $56. If we pull back to this linear regression channel here, and then on the next following hour, we so it's going to look something like this, right? It's going to look something like this. We pull down, and then we get a nice little bounce here, right? If we get any sort of double back test, or even one back test is fine, but if we get any sort of double back test, and then we get price action that's starting to take out the prior candles consolidation of this back test this is when we're going to want to get long and that price is going to be somewhere somewhere around 58 60 dollars between 58 and 60 dollars if we see that we know potentially we've got a play going along and if we're wondering where to take profits our first profit taking destination is going to be 62 dollars and the next profit taking destination is going to be around 6475. Okay? You can scale out your position there, you can leave a runner, you can see if this thing wants to run even higher up to 6635, but that's the way that you got to play. You got to play these in levels. Now let's say we pull back a little bit more and we lose this linear regression channel. We do have rising hourly support right now currently at $54. That's going to be the 10-day moving average as well as the 20-day. If we pull back in here, I think this is a good opportunity to play a bounce on a reclaim. So if we lose the 10 or 20-day moving average and then quickly reclaim it, this is your entry and you're going to use the low as your stop. Okay, you're going to run into a lot of support down here, 51, 52, but this is going to be the area we're going to want to get long if we do come back and back test that break, uh, that breakdown and hold, and then we start treading up sideways or uh, up north, this is going to be your area where you're going to want to get long and you're going to want to be scaling out, taking profits anywhere between 56, 58, 60, 62. 66. That's the way we're going to play this stock. That's how we're going to look at it. Okay. We're not just going to wake up in the morning. We're not just going to let this stock be up here somewhere and then just buy it all the way at the top with no pullback. We have to get the pullback. Okay. Even if we're going to play it to the long to the top side over 62 or over 66, this pullback is fine. But when we do come up and we break this 62 or 66, we need, need some form of back test. We have to have some form of pullback to show that, hey, this is going to act as an area of support. And then we get long here off the bounce. Okay, that's how you play these breakouts. Uh, congratulations to everyone who was in this stock. Um, and you guys were able to catch this $9 move today. Fantastic move. Guys, if you want to join my Discord, I'm doing videos like this. I'm dropping signals of the stocks that I'm currently playing each and every single day. That link is down in the description box below for my Discord. Also, my website is Evolution Traders. Also, guys, if you can do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers this year, uh, trying to build this channel up, trying to get the videos out to more people. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let me know what you guys think about uh, DWAC today. And I will see you guys all on the next video.